Yeah, we did. It was uh, we. Uh, my next single has uh, is a, is a very is a, is something that's really cool. I think that I that we came up with when we were writing this new album. That uh, we were writing a song that kind of mentions a few things and realized it's a perfect bridge for the song. Is the bridge for mountain music. And so I contacted Randy Owen and asked him if he wanted to write it with us, and and then got those guys back together. And instead of sampling a piece of mountain music, I had those guys come in the studio and, and recorded them, and it was one of the most mind blowing experiences of my whole life. I was just gonna say, you you know, even though you're a powerhouse right now, you still get starstruck by guys like that. Oh man, are you kidding me? Absolutely. <laughs> I uh, that's the biggest group in the history of country music, you know. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And uh, hey, hang on one second. Yeah. Bye. 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 Have fun. I'll see you in a little bit. My little boy's going to school. Oh, cool. Brad Paisley is our guest. Uh, you know, we got to ask you about being at Daytona, man. That's got to be another cool thing that you've done recently. Yeah, man, oh, man. Um, it's, it's really a, it's a, it's a crazy thing to look in your rearview mirror and see the entire fleet of NASCAR drivers following you around around one of, you know the most famous racetrack in our country and it just was really I've never ever experienced anything like that and I never will again. Uh Brad, you know the song that you've got out right now this is country music obviously a huge hit for you. It really captures the spirit of what country music is about. Do you think that's alive in today's country music? Oh yeah, I definitely think it is. I think you know country music is ever evolving like anything. When you tell somebody you're a country music disc jockey that doesn't necess- that you don't necessarily know. I guarantee you have encountered frequently that little sort of rolling of the eyes. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And, oh yeah. And and it's just like just as if cuz there there is really the stigma attached. It's not fair because country music has become the music of reality. Well, Brad, you're a busy guy, but you must look forward to getting out on your fishing boat a lot. Oh yeah, you know, if I ever can do that again, I'll be glad. I was going to say, do you get out at all? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, mostly, what I've been focused on is uh, on our farm. We've built uh, we've built a fishing pond that has become a very uh, uh, an obsession for me to to be able to have a, a small little. It's a couple of acres of water that that has taken a long time to get right because you know how those go. They leak at first, and then uh, anyway, I uh, I really I really was uh, I've really been working on that to where I'm able to kind of catch fish right here on my. My own property. That's always been a dream of mine to be able to look out the window and see a, you know, see a pond full of, knowing there's fish in it. So cool. Well, the album's coming out in May. You're on a tour schedule. You're going to be coming up here this summer. Just a fantastic guy. Where can we find you? Twitter, Facebook. How do we get you? Twitter is just at Brad Paisley, and uh, I do have a Facebook account. I'm not good with it. I've actually never been really deep inside of that Facebook account. But um, but it's a great. I mean, it's it's run by my website, so they do a pretty good job. But yeah, I'm, I am on Twitter. <clears throat> Fantastic. Well, Brad, thanks for the time this morning, man. Great stuff. Hey, thank you guys for everything. You bet. Have a good day.